Wasabi, you guys. You wanna you wanna know one of the most patronizing thing I ever heard at MIT Integration B? They they stated, huh? Whoever who would ever thought a floor function would make an integral harder? Well, no shiz, no shiz. It's gonna make it extremely harder. Who who would ever thought? I th I think everyone already knows. So, how do we solve this? This finals. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. So let's take the this out, right? So we want u. 2 root x, this and that, right? We have u over 2 squared equals e to the x. And then 2, what, u squared over 4? So it's going to give us u over 2 du. With that, is that correct? I hope I did that correctly. And now we have from 0 to infinity, u over 2 du. And then we have, <coughs> excuse me. Oh god, we have u square over 4 plus 1 plus and then this square. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, wait, let me let me do something real quick. Let's let w equal u square over 4 plus 1. Can I do that? Oh, no, 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 I can't. Oh, yes, I can technically. Technically, yes, I can, because watch. I think I think I so um, you can get rid of this by doing this. So now we have m n plus one u over two du blah 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 u square over four plus one plus n. Now that's a constant. Now. You can go ahead and let w equal u square over 4 plus 1. Then dw is equal to, let's see, that's like u over 2. du. Aha! I know this looks illegal, but I, I think this is, um, I think it's fair. <laughs> okay, we have 4 u square plus 4 technically, so we got n square plus 2n plus 1 plus 4 is 5 I think I did that correctly and then here we have n square plus 4 over 4 okay alright I know this looks nasty I know the balance looks nasty but just I mean it's MIT integration what do you expect right um, W plus oh I'm stupid why didn't I you sub this whole thing why why oh it's okay I'm already here it's, we we already know the answer so here we have we have our own sum now it's like ln it's like ln of w plus n so now we have ln of <laughs> oh wait wait no 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 it's not I just forgot the square it's W plus n. I'm sorry. We just forgot the square. This is we just forgot the square. So now this is negative this. So then we just put in the bounds. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay. So we go ahead and plug in our bounds. Uh. Uh, so we got four, right? I'm just imagining this to be like plus n here. So we got 4, and then we got 4n. It's got n squared plus 4n plus 4 here. Minus 4 of, it's a plus n here. So that's like 4n, which is 6n. It's n squared plus 6n plus 5 here. Huh! That is very interesting. Okay, that's actually... Ooh, n plus 1, n plus 5. That looks like a telescoping sum. Okay, so here, this is like 4 pi square over 6 minus 1. Like, we, we know this so many times from our integration B training. Right? 
And then here, this this is the most difficult part here is uh this computing this sum. This is the most scariest part, right? Let's go ahead and do perform partial fractions on it, right? M plus one, m plus five. We use heavy side, right? See so negative one, we get four. Negative five, we get negative four. Oh, that's where that four comes from. So, okay. So we have like what? This is two thirds. 2 pi square over 3 minus 4 then minus the sum n equals to 0 and we have uh, m plus 1 minus m plus 5 oh that's crazy okay let's call this green okay so this portion here this portion here is like what? So if we, we get one plug in zero, we get one minus one fifth. Okay. Uh, n equals to one. Get one six. Get one third. One seventh. Okay, so we won't reach until one fifth, right? So we get one fourth. And the one fifth is going to cancel out, and everything else is going to cancel out. So we end up having one, a half, one third, and one fourth. That's crazy. I think I hope I'm doing this correctly. I hope I'm doing that correctly. The telescoping and the rest is going to cancel out to zero because infinity, uh, the limit as the uh, end of to infinity is just going to equal to zero. See, like like I said, it's not even the integration; it's just the summation, like. Come on, like I'm not here to do sums. Like MIT, they have like a fetish for piecewise integrals. I swear to God. Um, or let me. Okay, this is too much for me. I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, whoever is problem writing, y'all have a fetish for floor functions and sums. Okay, so is it my arithmetic or? Minus. Oh, it's because I didn't realize some negative. Oh my god, that was it. That's why. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. Twelve. Twenty-five over twelve. Twenty-five over twelve. Twenty-five over twelve. Yeah. Okay. Now it makes sense. Now. Forty-eight. Forty-eight and twenty-five. That's like. Yeah, 73. 73 over 12. Yeah, so my answer is 73 over 12. I would have cried if I competed. I would have cried. <laughs> Missing this negative was the only thing. I would have cried. Yeah. Well, there you go. So that's how you solve this, this integral. Okay? Please, for the love of God, watch out. <laughs> um... Yeah, holy hell. There you go. Okay. Alright, that's the fastest way to solve that integral. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video.